So in this video, I'm gonna talk about why I sold my Honda S2000, canceled my 2022 BRZ reservations, and bought a 2014 2.0 turbo R-Spec Hyundai Genesis Coupe. Young woe, gotta grind for yourself. You a king, you a god, you don't need nobody help. Middle finger to the haters, dog. Never mind the blogs. We above it all, that's why we get the so, latest draws. So, you know, the Honda S2000 is a great car, right? It, it's a track-focused car that you can have fun on, the, on a mountain run, on the track, and just ripping it really through the city. But it's not practical. And if you're like me, you're a husband, you're a father, you have kids, back seats are very important. So with the Honda S2000, a lot of the power is in the high end, right? It's between that like 6,500 to 9,000, I had the AP1 RPM power range. That's where the power really excels and that's where all of the fun and joy of the car, you know, takes place. But you're talking low horsepower, low torque, and really just a track focused car. So check out the trailer for four minutes. Leo, get the door. Got it. Sometimes you have to become the monster to save the one you love. Your mother's labs came back in. The cancer is spreading fast. She does need surgery. Um, without that payment, tomorrow she's going to be discharged. In two days, we're gonna rob Chino. Come on, Chino! God! Come on, man! I have a family! Don't do this shit, man! I mean, there's gotta be another way. There is no other way, Leo! If we don't rob Chino right now, my oh, mom so is as good as dead! With the 2022 BRZ releasing, you know, it was kind of a no-brainer. It has more torque, it has more horsepower, it has a 2.4 displacement. I was like, okay, this is absolutely the next car that I'm gonna get. Then as I sat on it, I sat on it, I sat on it, I was like, I did not want to go in debt $30,000. I just didn't. I didn't want to have a five to $600 car payment. I, it just didn't sit right with me. Something about the Genesis kept calling me. So I went to go look at a couple of different Genesis, 3.8, Ultimate, and eventually I was sold on the 2014 2.0 Turbo R-Spec. Now, some people will shy away because of the name Hyundai, but if this would have been called a Honda Genesis and it was a Honda, I'm pretty sure it'd be worth $10,000 more right now. And I always say, when you buy a car or you get a car, you get it because of something you like, not because the community likes or because someone else likes it, you drive it. And quite frankly, the Supras, the RX-7s, you know, the Skylines, they're all overpriced 90s JDM cars. If it wasn't for Fast and the Furious, the Supra and the RX-7s would not be nowhere near priced where they're at. But in reality, they're all overpriced. Um, and when I think about buying a car, I'm like, okay, back seats are a must. So I couldn't wait for the Nissan 400Z. The Subaru BRZ Toyota uh, GR86, it fit the bill, right? But it was, the back seats are smaller than in the Hyundai Genesis Coupe. I got this for $14,000. That monthly payment is $250. I moved around my phone bill, I moved around my internet bill and literally saved about 200 bucks. So I'm not really seeing that much. The 2.0 Turbo, why I went for this over the 3.8 uh, was I wanted the sound of the turbo. I'm not someone that chases power, mind you. I've owned RX-8s. I've owned um, every Honda you can think of, Fitchin, Preludes, Delso, VTEC model. I've owned uh, 350Zs. I I've literally owned everything within that price range of like under 20K that you can get used. I've literally owned like 30 cars. But from the factory, this comes with Bremble brakes, limited slip diff, uh, uh, racing suspension, 200, because this is the BK2, it has 275 horsepower, 2.0 turbo, better gas mileage than the 3.8, not by much, but it's better gas mileage. And because I don't chase power, that 
Like that's exciting to me. I, li I just like hearing it. Uh, also because I'm older, I'm not ripping the streets. I'm not concerned with how a car performs on the track. That doesn't do anything for me. I've owned cars that are track cars. And this fits all of my daily needs. So if you're a father, but you still wanna have a tuner car, I would highly recommend you look into the 2013 and above Hyundai Genesis Coupes. The BK2s are, are really, really nice. They're much more refined than the earlier versions. And if you're going to get a manual, this is a six speed, if you're going to get a manual like mine's or all R specs come in a manual, you wanna get the 2014 and above because they're uh, carbon coated in the transmission. And a lot of people compare you know, the transmission in, in, online and they'll say, oh, it's rubbish. Because they're comparing it to a Honda transmission or a Toyota transmission, which we all know Hondas just have some of the best transmissions, period. But if you know that it's a little clunky and it just has its way and you drive it the way it wants you to drive, the car drives fantastic. Now, one thing that I will say is a big downer and not really a downer, depending on how you look at it, is when you shift gear, sometimes it has a rev hang but you can also look at it as like rev matching, right? So it, it just depends on how you look at it. Sometimes it could be annoying, but sometimes if you're going from second to third and it's just hanging, it's keeping that RPM for you. I highly recommend a 2013 and above BK2 Hyundai Genesis, whether you're getting the 3.8 for more power or the 2.0 turbo for the turbo noises, you're getting adequate power, you're getting back seats, rear wheel drive, and you're really, you're just getting a fun car for any dad or mom out there that has kids but still wants to have fun.